Hello everyone, my name is Camille Ross and today my message is called I Was Almost Killed. Now, in 2009 I came back to God after walking away for a long time because I was hurting. I ended up going back to God. My mother was praying for me. I went back to church, rededicated my life to him. At that time, the Holy Spirit had been leading me to, you know, become celibate, to lose weight and start preparing for my husband, which is what I did. I lost about 100 pounds. I got my life completely together. I stopped fornicating, stopped being out in the world. And I started going to church and dedicating my life to the Lord. He delivered me of a lot of things that I was going through. I wrote a fitness book and I started mentoring to young women and other women around, telling them about God and how he could transform their lives. And at that time, I was working on being a better mother and preparing myself to be a wife. Long story short, the husband never came. And instead, I started being violated and attacked. I didn't know it for a long time. It took years to realize what had happened, but a man was sent by an agent sent by Satan came into my life and started violating me and destroying everything because I was doing work for God's kingdom. I had written a fitness book, which the kingdom of darkness did not like because I told people in that book how to receive God's salvation. And that if you come to him, he would break bondages off your life and help you with anything. And <clears throat> after I wrote that book, you know, and the Lord was using me in other ways around the city and neighborhood that I was in. And I didn't know anything. I just knew that God had a ministry for me and I was just overzealous and I really wanted to, you know, do the work of the Lord. And so I started getting attacked by a lot of people. At first, I really didn't know what was going on. Um, people started following me around, doing things to me, attacking me in the spiritual realm. And I had no clue what was happening. I would cry out to God and nothing had, you know, nothing would end. It would, it would continue. And, you know, so long story short, I had been, Maybe it'd been years where I was assaulted and antagonized, me and my children. And God put a man in my life who was not saved. We were unequally yoked, even though the Bible says not to be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. He allowed this man to come into my life, a man who worships the devil, who's a Satanist, did not believe in God, was not saved at all. And this man was doing everything in his power to try to convert me to the kingdom of darkness because he wanted to marry me. And God was not going to allow him to have me until he became saved. The man did not want to become saved because he is a part of Illuminati. He did not want to leave his things. He wanted to have his wealth, his riches. And as if you all know with Illuminati, it's this organization where you come, you have to follow them. You have to go by their rules. And if you don't do what they want you to do, then they can make your life a living hell. Basically, they say you can't have anything if you don't, you know, if you're not a part of their organization, their alliance. And so that's what this was. This man wanted me to join the Alliance because, you know, they're really not supposed to be with any outsiders. And I did not want to join it because I was saved and born again. And I did not want to worship the devil, especially after all the things I've seen with my father serving, saving my grandparents um, were dealing in the occult. And I never wanted to be a part of ruining people's lives by using sorcery and witchcraft. And I did not want to worship Satan. Now, I don't know, but... Everywhere I went, all these people started coming around me, all these witches and everything, and I knew. I, I didn't know what was going on, but I started to finally, the picture started unfolding, especially when I moved to Harrisburg, that what this whole plan was, that God was trying to put me and this man together because he wanted to get him saved along with a bunch of other uh, people who served Satan or were, you know, a part of that organization, the Kingdom of Darkness. I begged God to release me from it because these people would assault me everywhere I went. They assaulted my children. My children would get intense headaches in school, witches and teachers and sorcerers in schools would attack my, my son. Uh, my daughter was getting sick. She would vomit, have stomach problems. And these would be spiritual ailments because the Holy Spirit always told me they were spiritual. And whenever we take them to the doctor, they can never find anything. So these are always spiritual. And they would not, the symptoms would never go away until I started praying. I had posted videos about my daughter getting sick. I had posted videos talking about my son and how they were attacking his brain. They had actually destroyed his frontal lobe and temporal lobe by doing sorcery on his mind every day. And he had reverted to the point all of his knowledge and wisdom was gone. He was at a pretty much almost a vegeta vegetative state where his, his impulse uh, he had a ra irrational impulse. Um, he could not make rational decisions. He could not think or, or make sound choices. And this caused him to get into trouble. God had allowed all these things to happen. <clears throat> 
my father also had been attacking me. Um, people in my family had been attacking me. The Lord revealed how they had stolen things from the youth source who to still hijack my destiny, my children's destiny, still all of our blessings and everything we were supposed to have. And, you know, we lived a long time in bondage. I cannot keep jobs. I was attacked on jobs. I lived in poverty on welfare and these people just sought my possessions. I kept losing, I could not keep a job. I would lose all my possessions. They kept attacking my cars whenever I had them. They would attack my body. Um, I would wake up sometimes in so much excruciating pain because every time I go to sleep at night, I would feel like someone cutting into my feet or, or, or just doing things to hurt me. It was spiritual, but it was being done. You know, you could actually feel it physically. It was something they would do spiritually that you could feel physically. I was getting violated sexually things have come in and insult me sexually at night. The same with my daughter. Uh, my, I had losing my kids as a result of this. They lied and slandered and, and tried to cover all of this up. This man was orchestrating this entire thing because it was his agenda to turn me over to the kingdom of darkness. So I guess he could get his little brownie points from Satan and keep his things. And he has been a persistent enemy in my life for many years and God has not done anything about it. And, um, recently, my brakes went out to my car. This man has been attacking my cars for years. I posted videos before where you could see where my tires, I was talking about how my tires, I would wake up every day with a flat tire and I would have to keep putting air in the tires every day until I finally got money to replace it. Once I paid for the tire to get replaced, then it would only last for like a week and next week or two, I would have to replace the tire again. I would keep getting flats and, and these were spiritual attacks. They would attack everything on my possessions because he was trying to keep me in bondage. I was using my car to work. The man did not want me to have a job when I found a way to uh, you know, make money without having any type of, you know, traditional job. Um, <clears throat> I went and found another way to make money by using my vehicle. The Lord opened the door for that. The man and the rest of his organization continued to attack me with that as well by destroying my vehicle. Now my car, the brakes recently went out while I was on the road and thank God, you know, I wasn't somewhere where there was heavy traffic or on a freeway or somewhere where I was doing high speed because this could have ended fatally. I could have been killed. But I'm gonna post a brief clip here of my brakes coming out. This entire situation was recorded and here it is now. So I'm recording footage because I am on the road. I currently do not have any brakes. My car is messed up. They've been attacking my car relentlessly. I am driving, this is dangerous because I don't have any brakes. I cannot stop my brakes, just went out. Um, I don't have any money to fix it because Illuminati has been attacking me. People from Satan's kingdom has been attacking me now for a while. And I literally have no brakes. I literally cannot stop. I have to drive like this. And I'm just recording documentation and footage of everything that was done. So because, you know, I've waited a long time for justice to come by God everyone who's relentlessly attacked me, persecuted me, assaulted me. This is the, about the third or fourth car that they were ruined of mine. They first started off with destroying the tires. Every time I would get a uh, tire replaced, all of a sudden I get another flat tire within a couple of weeks. Had to replace like three tires on one car. Had to continue to put air in it. Every time I replaced the car, um, the tires for the car, they would continue to uh, mess with it. So I went ahead and made a video and reported that. So they started ruining my brakes. This is the second time this happened where my brakes have gone out while I'm driving. That is attempted murder. So I'm just letting you know for all of those who had fun attacking me, uh, keeping me from working, doing everything they can to attack my car so I can't work, um, making it so I can't have money, take care of my children, putting us in a prison, the bondage, putting us in dangerous situations. This is what's going to happen. Everything you have done to me, everything you've done to God's children, everything you've stopped us from having, all of the dangerous situations you put us in, uh, the bondage, everything you've kept us from, deprived us from, it's all going to happen to you and your children. And I wanted to do record, document, footage, so you would know why. Do not cry, because people always forget and cry. When COVID first came in 2020, that was right after my kids were taken out of the home and had just lost their entire summer. And we had lost our entire um uh, I literally have to, I have no brakes. I have absolutely no brakes. Could have hit a car just now. And this is what they do. They've attacked me to the point where I am in dangerous situations. I am in uh, a dangerous situation where I literally, I, I can't do anything. So I am driving this car with absolutely no brakes. My car will not stop. I push down on the brakes and my car keeps going. 
Like I said, this happened once before with my son in the car. And God saved us, but the brakes completely went out with my son in the car. They just went out. This is the third car. They ruined the mine. One of them wouldn't start. Like I said, they've been attacking me relentlessly ever since I've been doing God's work. It's like I was pushing between a rock and a hard place. I was forced to do this. I was forced to do this work because God says his, his people need saving. His church is all a mess. Most of them are in Illuminati and worshiping Satan, doing witchcraft in his church, made it an abomination, have ran the true Christians out of the church. And, you know, God had put me in this situation where I've been doing this work. And ever since then, I've been relentlessly been attacked. I have been assaulted. I have had, you know, been blocked where I can't have money or jobs. I can't make money. This was my only means of making money. Now the car is completely gone. It's destroyed. I cannot stop it. You can see, I don't know if I could put it in neutral, but the car is pushing up speed now. It's like, I don't know what to do. And my car will not stop. I'm gonna try and park it somehow. So I put it in neutral just now, but it's cars everywhere. I don't know if that'll help. My car is in neutral. So I'm gonna see if I can get up here. So I'm gonna have to get my car right here in a corner. Cause it, it, it's like, it's ruined. They destroyed my car. Now, as you can see in that video, my brakes had suddenly gone out. I was on the road, thank God. It was not many people around. The Lord helped me. He helped me get home safely without having any type of accidents or you know any type of damage done to me. But the thing is, I don't have any money to repair my car. And like I said, I was using the car to actually work to make money. Now I'm in a bondage where I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. I can't work. My son, he had programs and activities and things he was supposed to do, and I can't take him to it now. Um, I'm just tired of being in this bondage in this situation. And God has not yet done anything about this man. The thing is, I'm tired of him being protected while me and my kid keeps being abused. Me and my children are continuously suffering for the consequences that other, for the, the burdens other people have done for their actions. They need to start suffering for their own actions. God has avenged other people. He even avenges people when I do things wrong, even if it's not intentional. I remember years ago when a boyfriend of mine had stolen, had not stolen, but he had found a credit card. It was a lost credit card he had found. And at that time, I needed gas to put in my car. I took $20 off that credit card to put gas in my car even though I hadn't stolen the credit card I, I had used it to get gas and I knew that the credit card was lost and because I had done that the very next day kid you not I ended up running over something and two of my tires had to be replaced I was out of over $200 so the Lord basically <clears throat> he, he took you know he took tenfold from me and this is something that always happens when I do anything wrong to anyone, he will punish me to the highest level of, of degree for the littlest, slightest offenses. But I, people have done all kinds of things to me and there has been no resolution. There have been no consequences for these people. These people will get so much mercy that they keep allowed to be, keep doing these repeated offenses and abuse me for years. I have suffered for years for the offenses people have done to me and he has not done anything. And it's like, why aren't you fair? Your Bible says, you know, you're the vengeance of our adversaries. You say all this stuff in your Bible, but I shouldn't have to sit here and be abused and tormented by a man. I'm a woman, first of all. And there should not, it should not be right that a man is going out of his way to assault me, to attack me and my children, who to lie and slander things against me, to do all kinds of things while you keep protecting him. But I'm taking the consequences, bearing all the consequences for everything he does. I've lost my daughter permanently. She's gone. I've lost jobs. I've lost my house. I've lost my cars. Me and my kids are suffering. We have nothing because God wants to continue to protect this man. He wants to continue to protect everyone. Just like a woman who sits here and takes my features literally every day because she has a complex about how dark she is. But I have to put makeup on my face to cover up all these dark blemishes, which you can't see because I'm covering up with makeup. If you can look closely, you can see all these dark spots. I have dark blemishes everywhere because this woman has been uh, doing sorcery. I don't know why everybody picks me. 
but somehow everybody comes to me and wants to assault me or take from me or be jealous of me. And it's, uh, and, and I'm, I'm being bullied because I can't do anything back to him. All I can do is pray and, and God does nothing. He takes his time to avenge me and I'm getting tired of it now because I'm a human being too. Prophet or not, whatever anointing I have, I am still human. And I'm sitting here in a situation where I can't even live. I can't, I have to be in a bondage. I can't even take care of my kids. I can't work to feed us and put food on the table. I can't work and take my kids anywhere because God won't do anything. He's let the kingdom of darkness punish me and attack me and assault me over and over. It's like he hates me. And I don't know anymore. This is why I, I like I've stopped making videos because it's like it's gotten to the point where I'm tired of being abused. I'm tired of covering up for him. I'm tired of coming up for this man. I'm tired of coming up for the woman who keeps assaulting me. And then she'll stop when she gets exposed for a moment. But then when she feels everything's died up, she'll start back over again. She gets look at my face and see if I look exactly like her. If people really could take a look and look at the videos I posted this woman, you can see that uh, her features are still here because she's still trying to hijack my looks. I mean, we all have hurt. You know, just because people have issues or insecurities, I have them too. Guess what? I had insecurities all my life about being big because I was always big for my si for my size. I was always big for my age. I went to school and I was heavier than everybody else because they were attacking me then, attacking my weight. I had to walk around looking shamed. I could not wear clothes in the teenage section. And my mother talked about how big I was. And I had a complex about being fat. And guess what? When I got... And when God helped me, I was able to lose weight and I lost over a hundred pounds. And I did it twice, but each time he let them put the fat back on me. He let people do everything to destroy me. And I, it's like, what do you want? Because it's like, I have suffered to no avail. And it's in the suffering. I can understand people in the Bible have suffered, but God eventually came through for me. And no one ever has suffered like this, but Paul and Paul suffered because he was persecuting Christians. I don't know what it was that I did to be suffering in this type of manner. But I'm tired of the fact that God does not treat me like a human. He treats me like I have no feelings, like I have no emotions. I'm a woman. And you let a man bully me, cut into my legs, my feet, literally hurt me. You always make me a sacrifice. I am tired of being the scapegoat for everybody else who doesn't want to come to him. I can't bear everybody's burdens. There's a whole church out there. But he keeps putting everything off on me. And I can't deal with it anymore. When I sit here stuck in a house, sometimes feeling like, Maybe I shouldn't live. Maybe it'd be best. If, I mean, why do you want to subject me to that type of abuse? I've gone my whole life and had nothing. I couldn't get anything I wanted. I couldn't graduate high school. I couldn't graduate from college. I, I couldn't have a husband. I couldn't have a house. I couldn't have peace with me and my children because there was always something fighting against me, some supernatural force and other enemies coming up against me to stop everything. And God sat there idly and watched it all and did not do a thing. Now, what this man has done to me by t destroying my brakes, that is attempted murder. What's going to happen about that? Huh? Because I can't go and destroy somebody's car and try to hurt them. He has tried to cause me physical harm. Him and everybody else who's been helping him, they've all come up against me and bullied me because I'm one person and the whole organization of cowards have come up against a weak person because you feel that you're strong and you can come up against me as one, one little individual and you, you, that's what you do. And, but it says in the Bible, God's supposed to be for us. He's never been for me because if he was, none of this would have ever happened, but she constantly let this man destroy me. Like I said, I've lost my daughter. She, she's in a situation where she can't even be with her own family. And you've done all these things. My son's brain has been destroyed and he's at the point where he's regressed and, and, and urinating himself and all these things. This should not be. But he has allowed everybody to destroy us. Now I'm sitting here now have no money. No one's going to help us. No one's going to give us anything. No one. I've asked before. I made a GoFundMe page. My children were first taken out of the home so I could help pay for an attorney. And no one even gave us not even a dollar. But they would give money. <laughs> Thousands of dollars to a woman who glues her hair. Glues her hair with some type of Gorilla Glue. A 40 year old woman who does something stupid, but people will give money for that, but won't even help a person like me. But I have to constantly fight for his people, help his people. But he never makes his church help me. He never makes his church do anything for me. Even though he says in the Bible, he'll bless those who bless us, curse those who curse us. He's not done any of them. And I'm getting to the point. This is why I don't really make videos anymore because it's like, you're not going to keep using me. 
You don't show that you love me. You show me as somebody you're just using for the gifts and anointing that I have. But did you care about me as a human being? Do you care about me when a man is violating me and destroying me? Did you care about me when I lost my children for no reason that was not of my own? Did you care about me every day when I had to sit in a bondage because they destroyed my car and kept me from working or attacked my children when they were sick every day or every day I woke up sick or in bondage or in excruciating pain and had to crawl out of bed? Did you care about me when all those things were happening? Did you care about me when over 100 pounds of fat was put on me and I had to walk around in shame? Did you care about me that I sat in school every day being picked on and abused or in a house where my whole family came up against me and messed with me for no reason? Did you care about me when I was a rejected child and no one loved or would even befriend? But you always talking about how everybody else hurts. I hurt too. Does that matter to you? Obviously not because you've done nothing about it. Nothing. And I am so tired of suffering and hearing that so-and-so needs this or so-and-so feels sad. Well, what the hell about me? You don't care how I feel. You don't care what I need or how people have hurt me over and over and nothing's done about it? Do you ever care about me as a person or do you only look at me because you only want to use some gifts that I have? Take the gifts and give it to somebody else. Then that's what it means. Because I just want to be a human. I want to feel love just like everybody else. I can't get that. I have to walk around and be abused everywhere I go. I have to be subjected to mistreatment. I have to be ostracized and rejected and hated and persecuted and shunned. And I am so fed up with it. I don't talk about it because everybody feels like I'm an iron woman with iron emotions, no feelings. And I'm not. I done all this because I was forced and then I get persecuted every day and the person who forced me to do this and put me in a situation that didn't even protect me doesn't help me or provide for me to do anything but waste for me to do one wrong thing and then you you punish me for it this past Christmas I wanted to buy my kids a Christmas present I owe my mom $50 and I didn't have the money to give to her because I wanted to buy my kids a Christmas gift and since I didn't pay her back guess what he did he took an entire $500 check from me but you got people stealing from me left and right and you have not avenged me of any of them you tell me to pray but I pray you do nothing I shouldn't have to pray because if you can get me back with, with, I do something wrong with somebody and they don't even have to know about it you could have gotten justice for me you could have avenged me for all the wrong that was done to me you chose not to and that's what I want to say this is why I have not made any videos because I am tired of suffering now, I'm done ranting. I know none of you probably will even care about this. You don't care. I already know that. But those of you who are some type of sympathy in your heart, if you want to help me out, I'll post my cash app here so someone can offer me money because I'm trying to get my car fixed because that's the only way I can make any type of money. I need my car to go back to work and my son shouldn't have to sit in this house and suffer with nothing to do because God keeps letting people attack us because I did his work. You said you would not reward us evil for good, but all he has done is reward me evil for the good that I've done. And that's all I have to say. Thank you.